write it down, have it. Um, why don't you guys have this written down? It's a process that's fairly easy to remember. Um, so what it says is we need to find coterminal angles. And for this problem, you're going to find two coterminal angles. Um, so if you guys remember, coterminal angles are angles that have the same initial and terminal side. All right? So if you guys look at it, remember our initial side is right here. And our terminal side is going to be where our angle ends on. So as it wraps around, here's my terminal side. Is everybody with me on that point right there? Initial and terminal side. The next thing is, notice this is 3 pi over 4, so I'm going in the negative direction. Is everybody with me on that? Negative direction, we're going down there. Right? This is the basics, Matt. So you need to look up here. Like turn so you can see. Thank you. Um, the next thing we want to make sure we're concerned is, remember, halfway around here is pi. So this would be 4 pi over 4, or like the negative uh, Uh, and this would be negative five, negative four pi over four. All right, as we're going around this direction. So what we need to do is we're going to create. I want to find two different angles that have the exact same initial and terminal side. Right. Lastly, so therefore, it's going to, do you guys see how these are all replica angles? As close as they can be. So, well, if I'm going in this direction, the obvious way was, well, this is the negative direction. I can get the same angle by going in the Positive direction. Positive direction. Yeah. Right? And then we could also get that same angle. If I went in the negative direction, well, let's say I go over 360 and then I do it again. Okay? So how can we find these angles um, algebraically? Because we could segment, segment a circle and just count all the you know sections, right? And see what we get. But there's also a way we can do um, this algebraically. And what we're going to do is, since they have the same vertical, um, since the since they have the same initial and terminal side, what we can do is we can add two pi, and we can subtract two pi. Because if you guys remember, if here if I start at zero, right, and I go to pi, and then I go back over again, that's two pi, right? So two pi is exactly like three sixty. It takes you back to the exact same spot. Correct? So if I'm here at my terminal side, if here's my angle, and I add 2 pi to it, I'm just going back around to that exact same spot. Do you guys see that? Or if I subtra subtract 2 pi, I'm going, I'm gonna, still going to take me back to my original angle. So how we can find our two initial angles, our two co-terminal two, two co angles, is to add 2 pi and subtract 2 pi. So all you need to do is you need to take your angle, which is a negative 3 pi over 4. Add 2 pi and subtract 2 pi. Now, for those of you that hate fractions, just like the quadrants came back, guess what? The fractions are coming back. All right? So, what we have to do is we have to remember well, how am I going to add a negative 3 fourths plus 2? Well, we have to manipulate our 2 so it has a denominator of 4. So, what I'm going to want to do is multiply this by 4 over 4. So, therefore, I have a negative 3 pi over 4 is equal to plus 8 over 4 pi, right? And then from here, if I subtract them, I'm going to do the same thing, negative, negative 3 pi over 4 minus 8 pi, oh shoot, 8 over 4 pi. All right. Well, what's a negative three plus five? Is that uh, no? Plus eight is plus eight, right? Five. <coughs> five. five pi over four. And does that look about five pi over four? Right. Because no. over here to here, one four. Uh, one pi over four, two pi, three pi, four pi, five pi, right? Six pi, seven pi, eight pi. Then here, this one's going to give us a negative eleven pi over four. Which, you know, if we did this, well, all the way around is a negative 8, 9, 10, 11. So, do you guys see how that works? Okay? If you guys can just remember, write it down to find coterminal angles, add, subtract 2 pi. The hardest thing about this is dealing with those fractions. Yes, and remember what they are. Yes, you may.
And that's it.